Hey guys, welcome to technical video here. Today in this video, we will talk about iOS 14.2 developer beta 3. After release of beta 2 last week, today Apple released the third update that is beta 3 update for iOS 14.2 and iPad OS 14.2. Okay, this is the next major update for your iOS and iPad OS. This update was released during the Apple event itself. Talking about the size for my iPhone 7, it is around half a gigabyte. Okay, and it may vary according to the devices. And now if you are talking about the, the new build number is 18B5072F, this is the new one. And now let's talk about the beta update and what are the changes I am experiencing on my device. Just like any other update, this update also has fixed many bugs and issues on my device. But first of all, I will talk about the device performances. After beta 3 update, the device has become really fast. There is no lags. Earlier, whenever I used to unlock my device, the device used to lag and there was a very slow or a, there used to lag when I used to transition between my home screen. But now after the iOS 3, it has become very smooth and faster as compared to earlier. Secondly, I will talk about app crashing. After the beta 3 update, the app crashing has completely stopped Okay, or else I have not experienced any app crashing till now. Earlier version, the apps like WhatsApp and Facebook used to crash a lot of times but after develop beta 3 update, that is stopped and I have not experienced any app crash on my device after that. And lastly, I will talk about your music application. This is a small bug which is fixed now. So whenever earlier you were trying to play music and you were accessing your music from control center or a lock screen, the start and end time of a track was not shown on a screen. Right? But after this update, it is fixed and now you can see the end time and start time from a lock screen or control center. As you can see on screen, there is a start time and the end time which is mentioned but in earlier photo it was not mentioned and earlier it was not shown on a screen as well but now it is fixed and now you can easily access the music track and you can see the end and start time on your screen there are many small small tweaks done in settings as well but this was a noticeable uh, issue or a bug fix which I thought of bringing to your notice just to wind up for me this update had made my iPhone 7 faster by completely reducing or stopping the lags and app pressure on my device and also it has fixed this music bug music application bug that was not showing end and start time on a lock screen as well as the control center okay guys that's it for the video if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching the video